The annual parade is one of UW's longest homecoming traditions. But this year, the rules and regulations of the parade have changed due to an alcohol-related accident that occurred last year. Along with campus and city police officials, the UW Homecoming Committee has reformed parade policies to secure a safer event. New rules allow each float only 25 participants compared to last year's unlimited amount. All candy must be handed out and not thrown, and drug and alcohol use is strictly prohibited. Consequences will be applied to individuals or groups who do not follow these rules. Under pressure that the parade may be dismissed from homecoming activities, parade chair Jamie Hoyler spearheaded these modifications. So we expect a lot from participants and we understand that um, there's a lot of them, a lot of responsibility riding on them, um, but we expect them all to have a good time, of course, but kind of limit the behaviors that they may participate in. Among other student organizations, the Gamma Phi Beta sorority is upset about these changes. There's 25 people allowed in our parade and we have we have 50 girls in one pledge class, so it's just the numbers don't match. I think it'll be fun and enjoyable, but at the same time, like, the dynamic of it is definitely going to be different. On Friday night, the parade will begin on Langdon Street, head on to Wisconsin Street, continue on to Gilman, and end up right here on State Street. For the Badger Report, I'm Mallory Warner.